This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. have a mess that is explained because this new secular religion is being implemented by factions on both sides of the aisle. There are Democrats and Republicans who are attempting to impose this on us. We cannot teach Christianity. We cannot teach Islam. We cannot teach Judaism in school. But we have this new secular rainbow religion where people are trying to teach that in schools. They're but, trying to make that part of the policy. They're spending our tax dollars and painting sidewalks with the emblems of this religion. Okay, and it's ask, not appropriate. Yeah, I got to ask you this, Joe, because you touched on a lot of things, but I, don't, I just want to give you your flowers on this. Uh, how they use the Black Lives Matter as the uh, Trojan horse or the smoke spring for the new alphabet religion. And you was the first that I know of to call out Black Lives Matter, Incorporate or whatever they are, the, the three black lesbians. And we look at the tax filings coming out now on uh, Patrice Colors. But uh, I got to get your take on that, on the tax situation with Black Lives Matter or Black Lesbian Measures, whatever you call it, because you – was the one that told us about the website. So I didn't hear nobody else talk about the website, how they didn't include the black heterosexual male, even though the yeah. movement is made on the death of black heterosexual males. So I got to give you a props on that, Judd, because everybody started using your talking points after that. Yeah, I know, and nobody wants to give me credit for it. So I'm giving you credit right now because you were the first person to call out. Except astute people who don't get the media attention that the ones who are fakes get. Mm -hmm. See, they like people like Al Sharpton, who just lusts to get moments where he can hold hands and sing, We Shall Overcome. They like that because mm -hmm. that's harmless and that does absolutely nothing to advance anybody's cause or rights or shall we say treatment we've had equal rights for more than a half century 70 some years coming up Brown v. Right. Board of Education 1954 and we have to actualize them but those who actually want to actualize by doing actual deeds that actually impact exercise of those rights and de facto equality, they are suppressed for those who want to spend a lot of time on symbolic gestures. Juneteenth, so what? Mm -hmm. We have uh, black celebrities. They get the chance to, we open up opportunities for black folk. Well, maybe 10 out of the whole damn country or we open up all these times black folk didn't get a chance to be, you know, announcing a basketball game or commenting on a basketball game. So what, what does that have to do with what goes on in your life on a day to day basis? You see, these, these are the things that are being taught now dysfunction. And when you get somebody that speaks against that, you run into the fact that a half century, more than a half century ago, certain factions with this alphabet religion dedicated themselves to getting control of the entertainment industry, which was easy enough, the news industry, which was a little more difficult, and to insinuate themselves in both political parties so they could create chaos and havoc as smoke screens for activity 
that was taking place behind the scenes and in committee. So Mm -hmm. everybody has their rights. You know, get your freak on in your bedroom. If you're gay, no problem. But everybody that's gay does not support this doggone new religion, this new cult. Uh, As somebody I know from the Hollywood era who's into that uh, segment, said, just because you are a Muslim doesn't mean you support Al-Qaeda. And just because you are a Christian doesn't mean you supported Jim Jones and drinking Kool-Aid or Branch Davidian. So just because somebody's gay doesn't mean they support the Al-Qaeda, LGBTQ slash BLM, And if you're black, black lives do matter, but it's been corrupted to mean something else. And by the way, I would make a suggestion, BFM, black folk matter, Mm -hmm. black families matter, black fathers matter, black fealty matters, black finance matters, et cetera, et cetera. BFM, the hell with BLM. I call that black lesbian mania. (laughs) <laughs> and you know I've been saying that for several years now. Right. And one of the things we need to do as a people, and everybody needs to do in this country, whatever your ethnicity, is pay attention. Get your nose out of the uh, sports illustrate. Get your nose away from focusing on your remote so you can watch the basketball game, football game, baseball game, and start paying attention to what really counts. When you do that, you look things up. Don't depend upon somebody telling you what's going on. Go look. And if you went to BLM site before myself and some other people started getting on them and exposing it, the first thing you saw after all of the hype was we are for the destruction of the traditional nuclear family. And for black folk and everybody else in America, that's exactly the worst damn thing that could happen. We need traditional nuclear families. Mm -hmm. We have to have that. That's why we've got such violence in our communities because these boys are not getting trained. Then it goes down to we are for the destruction of cisgender privilege in the family, which means if you are a normal human being, they don't want you to have any influence in a family. In other words, if you had a healthy childhood and you were a boy or a girl, if you grew up to be man or woman, they don't want you to have anything to say about what's going on in the family. And then it goes down to, quote, we are a queer-affirming organization, unquote. And then they have another one in there, third from the bottom of their old mantra, which was straight out of NAMBA, North American Man-Boy Love Association, a bunch of pedophiles, that got driven underground. They took some stuff out of there about removing age as a matter of uh, a factor in consent. Mm-hmm. And we are pushing that stuff. And then when you read still on their site, if you go deep enough, is the financial disclosure information for every dollar you give to BLM, one-third goes to Act Blue, which is a Democratic Party fundraising uh, organization. One-third goes to, as they put it, LGBTQIA+. And one-third goes to BLM, which is what's been financing all of these mansions, corruptions, uh, and personal gain for the founders and others of their cronies. Now, look at that. Expenditure for Kalur's baby daddy. Mm -hmm. And look at that to her brother for so-called security, which is absolutely ridiculous in light of that person's advocacy. 
be for defunding police that deal with the rest of us. Now, and he gave a best friend $2 million. Which is yeah. Crazy. And these are all black men, though. But they don't talk about black. It's like these straight. I don't know these straight black men outside of the They aren't. Day, but... They aren't. Okay. Okay. That's their business, but they aren't. Mm-hmm. Remember, quote, we are a queer affirming organization, unquote. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing, if you want to see what you've been funding, is it January 6th? that everybody's all weirded out over President Trump about, yeah. former President Trump about, or is it all of the burnings that went on all across America where 150, 180 people every night went out and set fire and burned up billions of dollars worth of businesses, a lot of whom, a lot of which were run by black folk and other hard-working middle-class people small businessmen. And then how do they have a part in that? Well, they still put it on their site. We organize, provide transportation and communication for events, protests, and demonstrations. I may have gotten that last one slightly wrong, but it's paraphrased pretty correctly. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you're paying for this. That's why when you saw these things, there's no construction going on, but there's a convenient stack of bricks or flammable material right where something is planned for a week later. You've been paying them to set up an infrastructure so they can engage in social disorder and acclimate the public to violence. This is Brother Ron. I am asking you all to do me a big favor. Think about supporting the We All Be movement. Your donation is tax deductible. The We All Be Group Incorporated is a recognized 501c3. And I'm just asking you all because I want to keep on bringing y'all quality work uh, through the way that I know how to do best. And uh, I'm going to sing my praises and toot my horn. A lot of y'all were not hip to Dick Gregory until Brother Ron brought him on the We All Be platform, until that Django review we did. Y'all seen another side of Judge Joe Brown, and Judge Joe Brown's message has been amplified. But it was We All Be that brought Judge Joe Brown to y'all back in 2014. And so many others, and we covered so many things. So help us out so we can help you all. Peace. <laughs>